Hey, we're gonna be doing some brakes on a 99. Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. So we got these uh, little plugs in the back. A lot of times you'll find them missing. The last person didn't put them back in. Little back black plugs. Let's see here. Got these little springs that do not like to come out. This hardware. Yeah. Snap it off all in there. You have to take the caliper off, drill it out from the back, and I get premium brake pads, so it always comes with those new springs. Grab a smaller screwdriver here to get in there. We'll let's see if they'll come out. A lot of times they're rusted in there. Eh, hey, I'm lucky with this one. bottom one that's in there a little better. A lot of times it's easier to, if you can get one side out, leave the one that's stuck in, wait till you get your caliper off and swivel it, spray it down a little more. Got our other black cap out. Now we're gonna need a seven millimeter Allen head. see on the back of these two hold downs these are really stiff even after you've backed them out all the way you gotta back them out even further so that they clear the caliper mounting bracket and these ones are so stiff that I'm gonna have to put a pick in there or grab the ends with vice grips to get them out Now, these bleeder screws are seized in there. I've already confirmed the other side needs a new caliper. These brakes were smoking. It sat a long time. But we'll see if we need a new caliper on this side. Tried loosening the bleeder screws, heated them up, and they're just gonna snap off. They're no good. All right, this side, that one pressed back fine, which is awesome. So did this one. On the other side, they did not press back. I had to grab them with vice grips from the other end. All right, this one doesn't want to come off easily. Yep, we'll have to grab this one with pliers or vice grips. A lot looser than the other side, though. You're gonna want to take these all the way out so you can clean and grease them. See, they get caught right here at the end in the mounting bracket. Your caliper won't come off till you push them back further. But they get a cleaning and a grease and see that one's rusty. See. Trying to loosen up that caliper a little bit so it comes off easy. We might need a new caliper on this side too. Caliper and brake hose. It's been sitting too long. Let's see if this guy will spin in there, start to move. Oh, yeah. If you're planning on reusing your caliper, I recommend soaking her down. 
you don't snap that off in there. It's a pain. Yeah, these pads are rusted up in there. Both front tires were smoking after a drive after sitting for a while. I suspect both calipers and brake hoses should be replaced. Brake hoses look nasty. I've got to go ahead to do whatever I need to do on this one. I'm going to see if this caliper will press back easily. That one pressed back a little bit easily and then all of a sudden got tough. Same story for that one. So, I'm going to go ahead and just replace the brake lines and calipers. I can't bleed the brakes anyways because the bleeder screws are seized in. Switch around some stuff there. Got an 18 millimeter on the back here. Got a wheel speed sensor in the way. I don't know if it's supposed to be in the way. This rack gets rusted and bending. Get that guy out of the way. brackets off. We'll clean that hardware up. They don't look too bad. Give her a wire wheeling. Looks like we gotta take a hammer to this rotor. I don't care about the rotor. Usually I hit right here. In here to get them free. I don't care about this rotor. So I'm gonna give it a smack right there. I'll pop her off. We're going to clean this hub up. It's nice and rusty. With the new rotor, you want a smooth surface to mate to. All right, there's the removal. Let's move on over here. wire brush or a wire wheel or something clean these brackets up those pads were stuck in there from the rust buildup I'm going to 
gonna take this Dremel tool. install pads when they're that rusty the brackets I don't think this caliper comes with a new bracket but the reason the wheels were smoking cal could be the caliper brake hose or those pads were rusted up and jammed in when you press down the caliper press it in the rotor and it doesn't release because the rust locks them onto the rotor Makes that rotor smoke gets hot. Could be any of those problems we're dealing with today. I just put a little bit of grease where the pads will sit after cleaning them. That'll keep the new pads from rusting in place there. Now it's time to wait for the new parts to show up. Hey, we're back at it. I got one lug nut on there loosely holding the rotor fairly straight for me. Time to change these calipers. No rotors or brake hoses in stock. I got to get to the next project. I'm going to slap this together. Push her out of here. Get my next car in. Get that rotor on there. I'm gonna put these mounting bracket bolts back on. New mounting bracket with the new caliper. That rotor's still a little too sloppy. Straighten her up a bit. There we go. Got a little bit of silicone brake grease 
here where the pads touch the mounting bracket. Keep that mounting bracket from rusting up and seizing the pads into place. Putting my outside pad on. want a really thin layer here of the brake grease. Really thin. Keep it from locking up in there. I'm going to do the same thing to the caliper. Just where the pad surfaces contact the caliper. Keep that from rusting. Everything rusts up here in Michigan. It'll help keep it from getting brake squealed too. In the caliper, there's these two little holes where the spring goes in. I'm putting grease in there. If you don't, the little spring We'll rust in there and season there. If you ever have to take it apart for some reason again, you won't be able to get them out once they rust in there. We just ran into that so many times. Well, the inside brake pad just snaps right in with clips. Caliper's already compressed. going to fit that right on there. The two pins in the back, bolts, they get grease. I'm going to put a little bit right in the holes. grease on those pins so they can slide back and forth. Beautiful. Oh, where's my seven millimeter Allen? side. Seven millimeter Allen. That one started. Go to the bottom one. Take our little bleeder cap off. We'll loosen that bleeder up. Ten millimeter or three eighths. Little plug out. Big caliper. There we go. And we got our little spring clip goes in here. It's pretty tough to get in. I put the top one in in place and put it behind the mounting bracket. And then fit the next pin in into the caliper part. There we 
go. Put a screwdriver in between the middle of that spring. Popped out. in there all the way. Springs in. Beautiful. Everything's looking good. Now to transfer the caliper. That banjo bolt was nasty. We got a little thing. So I can fit a socket over it. We've got a 14 millimeter on this caliper. Zip it off with the impact. It's the easiest way to do it while it's hanging like this. I got new banjo bolts with the caliper. Stuck in there. There we go. It looks pretty nasty, the brake hose. Good. Kind of cleaned off that ceiling surface. I'll get around to those brake hoses and rotors later. This is just getting pushed out. Just got to get the tires back on all the way around. Put one copper washer on the banjo bolt. Put it through the brake hose. Next washer on the other side. Line it up the same way it was on the old caliper. Fourteen mil, guys. Fourteen mil. You don't want to tighten it so much you strip out the threads in the caliper, especially if you're dealing with aluminum calipers. This one's not aluminum. You want to be careful not to snap it or break the threads in the caliper. But you want to tighten it enough that those copper washers seal it up. There we go. Pop my ABS wire back into its home that's all rusted out, about to fall apart. Right. Now pretty soon we're gonna see brake fluid come out of this bleeder. But as far as changing brakes, rotors, and calipers, that's the way you do it. Keep your caliper cores, usually they need cores. If you bought a reman one, brand new, there shouldn't be a core. All right, we're gonna bleed the brakes. Prime them up, hit the brake pad pedal a bunch of times so the pads Stick onto the rotor, make sure you do that, or you're going to have no brakes when you take off. Throw the tires back on, push it out of the garage, and get on to the next project.